Question 14.74 uh, is kind of like the other question that I just reviewed, but we'll take a look at it anyway. So you have studied the gas phase oxidation of HBr by oxygen. Uh, the overall reaction, four molecules of HBr react to the oxygen to produce water and bromine. Uh, you find the reaction to be first order with respect to HBr and first order with respect to oxygen. So you find that the rate of the reaction is first order with respect to HBr and first order um, with respect to oxygen. So we find a rate law that looks like that. Uh, so you propose the following mechanism, HBr reacts with oxygen, uh, and then step two, and then step three of the reaction. Based on the rate law, which step is the rate determining step, right? So which step determines the rate of the reaction? Well, when we calculate the rate of the reaction, the only two reagents, the only two chemicals that show up in the rate law are HBr and oxygen. So the rate determining step, that's the step where the rate law comes from. The rate determining step needs to have these two chemicals present in that reaction. So we go over here and look at the three steps of the reaction and the only step that contains both HBr and oxygen is the first step. So the rate law of the reaction came from the first step of the reaction. That means that this second step and this third step are much faster than the first step. And so as a result, the second step or the third step do not influence the rate of the reaction. The rate of the reaction does not depend on the second or third step. So because in our rate law, only HBr and oxygen show up, right? The rate of the reaction must depend on the step where those chemicals are present, and that's our first step. So HBr, oxygen react in the first step, determining the rate of the reaction. So no other step in this multi-step reaction um, are going to influence the rate of the, are going to change the rate of the reaction. So that's the key to kind of thinking about these problems. We're basically looking for what does the rate of the reaction depend on? And then what step is, are, are those chemicals in? And so in this case, the rate depends on HBr and oxygen, and those show up in the first step of the reaction. If something else, if a different chemical showed up in the rate law of the reaction, then we'd have to consider a different step in the reaction. But this explains everything that we see.